Hey everybody, do right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. So for those of you that are unaware, this game has had an interesting turn of events the last couple of days. Let me explain. So a couple of days ago, I had made a video called PvP Event Video. It was actually more of a rant than anything multiplayer related, because it was about how the developers of Ready or Not have basically been inactive when it comes to their social medias in terms of updates on how development of their game is going. Now listen, I'm the type of person who likes to give developers as much time as they need to develop their game, okay? But Void Interactive has had a bad habit of saying that they're going to do something like release updates like videos, dev blogs, newsletters, etc. more frequently and be more transparent, which is cool and it's something that I'm completely for, but my video points out that they've been neglecting this promise. I don't mean to suck myself off here, but I think I did a good job of pointing this issue out. This is not the first time that Void has done something like this, although this one was more tame to the previous ones. I think it's important to hold developers accountable when they say that they're going to do something and they don't do it in case they say something and do something else but yeah if you want to check out that previous video where i complained about them click on the eye icon that's at the top right but anyways about 10 hours after i released that video over on their discord they posted a mini cinematic clip which i played at the intro here but to pad the youtube time The funny thing about this clip is that it was uploaded twice, okay? And the reason why it was uploaded twice was because the first one was botched. The original clip felt more like a cock tease and not a lot of people liked it. Like here, here's the original clip. the hell was that? My initial reaction to this was, what the fuck? What a cock tease. Like that's... <laughs> That was my initial reaction to this clip. <laughs> but then they took it down and redid it and added the cool little sound effect at the end. And I'm just like, oh, okay. So this is actually a promo, not a cock tease. So I was kind of like, oh. At the time I was thinking, is this a response to my video? I mean, the first botched upload and the newest community manager FAQ certainly uh, made it feel that way. <laughs> I mean, with the timing of when this nine second video came out, they could have certainly done this within 10 hours, but we later found out that it was actually a part of a bigger trailer. They just took that clip out and threw it out there as like a promo for that video. Along with the clip they also dropped a newsletter and a what's behind the door little thing that we could play with and like people have just been basically doing nothing but memes on it. This. I made this. And that's basically what happened in the last couple of days. We got a little clip, we got what's behind the door, a newsletter, and a minute trailer. No gameplay, unfortunately. Me, myself, I'm not looking for gameplay because I'm already playing it, but I know that a lot of people are. I would prefer Void Interactive to release some gameplay to the masses so that people have something to actually look forward to, aside from some asshole just releasing old footage of the alpha. I still keep seeing that footage that was leaked by a Japanese or Korean player. Like, people keep showing off that gameplay but if you decided to actually hop into it you'll see that it's actually progressed from that recording that people keep trying to show off like it looks far different than from that leaked footage so it's really misleading at this point all right last thing before we actually get into the newsletter because that's what this video is supposed to be about there have been two people that have been added to void interactive it seems you got faq who's basically been around the community at this point for a very long time he's the guy that literally made the faq that's featured on their website faq's faq is very extensive because he takes all the questions and answers and puts it into one big document for everybody to read. These are all from Reddit, by the way. I don't think he's actually missed any. So it's like he's really been a community manager all this time, but now it's official. The other guy is known as DOS Buster. This person is apparently a new designer for Ready or Not, and uh, he designs games. In what way? I have no idea. I think he said something like every mug that you see in the game is from me or something. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> I think I like them already. So with these updates, I wanted to divide up how we do them. For today, we're just gonna be doing the newsletter. Next video is gonna be an in-depth analysis on the minute trailer. And a third video, I was thinking probably just doing something on Carcosa, cause it seems like there's some interesting things, but I don't know if it really warrants a full video. I, gu I guess I'll let you guys decide if you want me to do it or not. But yeah, let's get into the newsletter. <clears throat> November was a busy month at Void Interactive with all the sweat, blood, and tears that you would expect to see with such an ambitious independent gamed, gamed? I think that's a typo. Development project. Other than our passion and belief in the project, it is the supporter spirit that keeps us energized and plowing forward. Thank you all for your feedback.
feedback, which has led to a very interesting and passionate debate at the studio. We also want to take this opportunity to wish everyone a happy conclusion to 2019 and a great start to 2020. The team at Void Interactive will work through most of the holiday season, but no doubt, we'll find some downtime days to spend with the family and friends. You know, it's always good to hang out with your family. I hung out with my family a lot in 2019. In November, we hosted our first playtest window, which proved to be a very fun experience, where we also picked up lots of great feedback and criticism that is being diligently reviewed by our game designers. When they say game designers, do they mean the new person that they just brought on? Dosbuster, I think it was? We have also continued to grow the team and its capacity, with most recently bringing on two additional level designers, one social media manager, and an additional game designer. Wow, they're bringing on a lot of new people, because I mean, from what I understand, the team is already like 10 to 20 strong, but bringing more people to the crew basically tells us that they are actually using the supporter money to its nth degree, so that's pretty cool. We are also working with an external art studio to help accelerate the character creation and environment art. What, like Studio 17? Same guys that are working with Hell Let Loose? It's just a guess. I don't think they're actually... I don't know. Maybe. As noted in our previous newsletter, we are working on a wide range of gameplay elements, but our primary focus continues to be the new AI system, which will dictate the behaviors and actions of the AI characters take. The new AI system will not allow suspects AI to just stand up and stare at the wall with no seeming purpose and will also lead civilian AI to respond to situation based on their courage level. Is it courage level? That sounds new. Or some may just cower. Another may want to play the hero. As previously stated, the new AI system will deliver better AI behaviors and reactions that will smartly adapt to the player's inputs and environmental conditions. Yeah, I can't wait to see those new AIs. It would be interesting to see how their AI system actually works. I'm just curious to see how smart this AI actually is because, you know, they hype it up here, but they haven't shown anything just yet, so we'll see. The new animation system will complement the new AI system and will breathe a new dynamic into the game. You will begin to note improved animations for key gameplay features such as arrest, general movements, and tactical gameplay elements. New animations, yay! Curious to see what they bring, because I mean, the animations that are in the game now are really good, so far anyway. Level design. Having picked up two additional level designers with a good eye for gameplay and balance should allow us to complete all level blockouts by Q1 2020. While we have not revealed all the levels yet, there are various blockouts nearing completion, which will be released in the coming weeks, including a suburban home raid on a car dealership. Interesting. I think that's the first time we've heard about that. And then it explains what the blockout level is. An early stage of the level design and environment art creation. A blockout utilizes primitive geometric shapes to block in level designs, game environments, and game art assets, and is designed to test size, scale, and gameplay. Yeah, so basically, if you didn't catch it, it's basically like the very early stages of a level, like everything's just basically a square where the assets are supposed to go. That's what it is. Like that gray square that you get when you open a blender or whatever, you know, uh, C++ I think it is. I don't remember. Or something like that. They actually list a couple of the new maps that are about to come out here. New alpha level blockouts coming soon. Meth House. Inner city suburban home, which serves as another link in the complex and violent chain of the illegal narcotic industry. Regrettably, some chose this lifestyle. Others are dragged by it. And others are sadly born into it. Auto dealership. The perfect front for an organized crime. Let's just say that the valets at this second hands at this car dealership do more than just wash used cars. The SWAT team must lead carefully against these gangsters. I wonder if these maps are like referenced from SWAT 4 because I feel like I've seen a map that's kind of like this in that game. Just curious to see. Farm. Away from a hustle and bustle of the big smoke. You picked the wrong house, fool. Issues arise at a farming locale that only our SWAT team can solve. Will the seeds of chaos be harvested into law and order? Uh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there, boy. I saw that. Valley. Lifestyles of the rich and famous. Our SWAT team has made it big. A hillside mansion with a pool and a magnificent view of the city. Issue is, this mansion is occupied by a scumbag. Movie producer. Wait, wouldn't the movie producer be living there? Hmm. Oh, I could see. Oh, 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 I could see this type of. So when they say movie producer, could it mean like somebody that's like filming girls naked and stuff like? Oh God, can't imagine that scenario. Arresting him will be a hell of a lot more exciting than the schlock he produces. Oh, <laughs> I think I might have hit the nail on the head with that one. Kind of reminds me of that L.A. Noir mission with the. Um, if anybody remembers L.A. Noir, that guy who was like filming like little girls as they're taking a poop. Anybody remember that? That's what this kind of sounds like to me. I wonder if that's 
ripped from that. But anyways, moving on. Level's already in the Alpha gas station. As the location of a standoff, hostages have been taken, where some petty criminals hit up their local for you gas station, running low on funds, and desperate for a supply of narcotics. They boldly entered the neighborhood for you gas station pumped with adrenaline and without casing the joint, causing panic and surprise when encountering civilians. Hotel. A downtown hotel becomes the location of criminal activity gone very wrong. No one would have expected that this once glamorous downtown hotel would be the backdrop to a brutal battle between the domestic biker gang and emerging cartel. Yeah, I've already played a majority of these maps, so I'm just gonna read it out to you. Port. Police have made a breakthrough on the enigmatic criminal case which requires cost emergency collaboration to investigate the city's port. Unsure of what they will find, the SWAT team is sent into the sector of the to raid a suspect building. Club. A horrific crime has occurred in a crowded nightclub. A brutal attack that sadly results in a high body count. The SWAT team must make their way through the club and protect any civilians still alive as well as capture the cowardly perpetrators. The Block. Experimental. Is an urban combat simulator set up by the force to train for civil unrest scenarios and escort missions. Multiplayer. Police station. Kill house only. Tactical Training Center. This is also multiplayer. Yeah, so these are all the maps that I was able to play so far, and so far I like I like a lot of them for the most part. I don't think there's anyone that I hate in particular. I can't wait to see what it actually looks like when uh, you know it comes out. Community play testing events. We actually covered this in a previous video. Well, sort of. We just covered like the date and time, but now they're actually going to talk about who got the top. We wish to wholeheartedly thank all our alpha testers who jumped into our first and second play test events. They provided a fantastic opportunity. For for supporters to rally up, play the game together, engage and socialize with each other, besides further aiding the development of the game with all the feedback that was given. We are happy with how it turned out, and we're looking forward to the next one, which will be hosted this December 21st from 12 to 21. Yeah, I actually had quite a bit of fun playing with other supporters. As promised, here are the top 15 players who achieved the highest scores during the second events. Thanks for participating. First we got FAQ, Tech Hands, Battle Killer 2000, Skysack, Ryro, Jaikun, Durag, there's your boy i'm what what the hell Ryro comes before me oh, oh, oh hell no nah. well see what happened was the sun was in my eye i had other things to do i only played about two hours excuses jd sir william buttercup aka pepperball bandit and yeah all these other guys i wasn't able to participate on the december 7th one because i was doing backbreaking work taking down tree limbs and removing giant bushes because if not then it'll hit the power lines and all that shit <laughs> the city would have fined my ass but hey it had to be done and I got it so yeah then they talk about the community feedback we are always listening to the continued feedback by our community and supporters while we see many ongoing discussions regarding different aspects of the game we want to address some of the main topics brought up during the event the team put in a great deal of effort improving how the game's networking feels which really showed during the play session however we are aware of some issues with the server browsers player count and you will be seeing a fix for that soon moreover the character models for PvP are also getting looked into oh thank goodness because Oh, I can't really I can't really explain it, but there was some issues with the um, with the character models and I can't really say why But I hope they look more into that because it was kind of annoying Our designers hear your comments on the dry docks the street of death in the block and the elevator in the gateway The idea of throwing a glow stick rave in the nightclub's dance floor. However, we'll have to wait. Is this a joke? I'm missing. Oh I'm an idiot like you're fucking jumping up and down with glow sticks fucking partying. I get it now <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see that before. We also hear all the feedback given on Tug of War and Firefight. While these game modes are still in their nascent stages and will be further worked on, we have ideas to make the matches steer towards a more active approach. The entry cinematics, such as the one for Hotel, will also be skippable in the future. You know, I never actually got to see what that looked like. I should probably go check that. I heard that there was like a problem with it or something, but I don't remember what the hell happened. In-game sounds. From weapons to character voices are getting further reworked so that a realer I think that's supposed to say so that they can be more realer, maybe? There's some typos in this. More thrilling and intense experience for the player is achieved. With all the funds continuously going towards the development, we will continue to update you through the newsletter regarding the delivery of the new and refined content in the alpha. Once we get through the big bulk work through December and January, we will then shift increasing resources into environment art and refinement, voice acting and UI XI. This of course is not stopping ongoing work of the sound music game modes and technical refinements. On an 
an entirely unrelated note, we've come up with a neat little something while working that we think you might enjoy. You can check it out by clicking here. And yeah, this is the what's behind the door. And it's basically a thing where you can edit a bunch of stuff. I'll, I'll include a link in the description if you want to get in and post it like on Reddit or something. I wonder if that has to do with anything. Just curious. So this is a very cool newsletter. Again, it's something that I feel is more towards the supporters than the actual people who aren't in the alpha. So it's very hard for me to gauge everything that they tried to talk about here, you know, with my personal opinion, because, you know, it's obviously NDA. But yeah, what are your thoughts on this little newsletter here and everything that's gone on thus far? Uh, look out for the next Ready or Not video because it's going to be analyzing the little trailer that went on here. I just need to make sure of a couple of things before I decide to go out and do that. And with that all being said, if you're someone that likes my videos, be sure to like and share. If you're someone that's new, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. If you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send me two bucks a month. Come on, mate. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.